Right out of the gate, the 49 kilo Olympic category opened up with a bang. At the first Olympic qualifying opportunity, the world champs in 2022, we saw China's Zhang Huihua attempt a 120 kilo world record clean and jerk, a number which will, by the end of the qualifying period, be surpassed by five kilos. She hold, no. Athletes like Mihaela Kambe demonstrated that they could compete with the best from Asia, taking fourth in the world, snatching a silver medal. The two US 49s, Haley Reichardt and Jordan De La Cruz, locked horns in a heated battle, the victor this time being Haley. Only one can go to Paris. Get it. That is a spectacular jerk. Just below them, Belgium's top prospect, the always passionate Nina Sturt, put up a 193 kilo total, a performance that will become incredibly impactful for reasons we'll get to in the later 59 kilo video. India's ex-world record holder, Mirabai Chanu, would not only take the silver medal here, but would then essentially vanish for the following 18 months. Her abilities still remain both a mystery and a concern to all other 49s. And lastly, a crowd favourite, the European champion at the time, Julia Imperio, who would fail to crack into the top 10. And that's the scene set, the opening moves of the top 49s in the world. Remember, in order to qualify for the Olympic Games, athletes only have 18 months to put up a total to get into the top 10 in the world. They can compete multiple times in order to improve on their total and ranking. The following 18 months in the 49s were full of tremendous battles, with athletes doing everything they could to earn their spot in the top 10. Let's take a deeper look at what went on. The biggest battle in this category lies between the two Chinese athletes, the previous Olympic champion and snatch world record holder, Hu Jihui, and the world champion and total world record holder at the time, Zhang Hui Hua. Oh, better than the first. Yeah. And based on the performance at the last Olympics, most people expected Hu Jihui to take the gold. But with Zhang Hui Hua still hungry to taste Olympic gold herself, she took the first win. 206 kilos to 200. And over the course of the following year, Zhang won again at the Asian Championships. 207 to 204. In Riyadh at the World Championships 2023, she did it again, this time with a world record clean and jerk in total. 215 to 211. But then something very strange happened. North Korea returned from a four year international hiatus. Once upon a time, they were the only major challenger to the Chinese women's team. And now, once again, more than a thorn in their side. North Korea's Ri Song Gum turned up to China's home Asian Games, stepped onto their home soil, and demolished Zhang Huihua's world record twice making 122 kilos on her first attempt and then 124 kilos on her second attempt. And though North Korea is ineligible for the Olympics due to their absence for the first half of qualification, this didn't look good. A few months later in December 2023 in Doha, they all met again. This time, Zhang Huihua defeated Ri Song Gum, reclaiming the world record total. And then in need of rest, Zhang Huihua, Hu Jihui and all of the Chinese team opted to sit out of the Asian Championships 2024. It was arguably a mistake. With no competition, Ri Song Gum re-broke the world record total by 4 kilos and extended her clean and jerk world record to 125 kilos, over 2.5 times her body weight. They all meet again in Thailand at the World Cup, the last chance Olympic qualifier. Not only does Zhang Huihua need to stay ahead of Hu Jihui, but neither will want to be made to look a fool by losing to North Korea. Neither of them will be happy with winning an Olympic gold medal knowing it was only because North Korea was ineligible. After her silver medal snatch at the World Championships 2022, Mihaela Kambe went on to win two European Championships back to back in 2023 and then a few weeks ago in 2024. She's now snatched a European record 91 kilos and set multiple senior European records in the total. But she has started building up her strength reserves, showing strong progress in the clean and jerk. Her 109 kilo personal record in Bulgaria a few weeks ago looked strong and certainly suggests that she's going to be in the hunt for a medal in Thailand at the World Cup and of course also at the Olympics in Paris. She currently sits at fifth in the world rankings. Absolutely incredible. Battling also for a medal along with Kambe is, slash were, the two Americans. Countries can only send one athlete in a category to the Olympics, and so Jordan De La Cruz and Haley Reichardt's duel was always going to be intense. 
And despite Haley taking the initial lead, Jordan's stunning 200 kilo total at the 2023 World Championships bumped her up to fourth in the world, three kilos above Haley. Despite it being such a small lead, Haley made the announcement in January 2024. She was pulling out. The difficulties were too great. The spot was all for Jordan, a soon to be two time Olympian. Now we can't cover all of the athletes in this category, but it's worth mentioning the others who look pretty safe in the top 10. Japan's Ryo Suzuki and Thailand's Tanithon Sukhtaroan all hold strong rankings. But at the lower end of the top 10, and heading into the athletes who fall just outside of the top 10, the battle in Thailand at the last chance Olympic qualifier, the Ida Bluff World Cup, will mean everything. Having just suffered a devastating bomb out, Julia Imperio, who sits at 12th in the world, needs to set new records if she hopes to crack the top 10. 85 in the snatch and 105 in the clean and jerk might just do it. Taipei's Chen Jing Lin sits in 11th and needs to do the same, not to mention Great Britain's Freya Morrow, who cut down from the 55 kilo class in order to take a shot at the Olympics. Despite injury in 2023, she will be heading to Thailand along with the others in the hopes of battling and disrupting the top 10 and sealing an Olympic dream. The last chance qualifier, the IWF World Cup in Thailand, starts on March 31st and will be available to watch with commentary from myself and my co-commentator Max Ata at Weightlifting House TV. There's also a ton of exclusive training and backroom content from these very athletes, Mahela Kambe, Jean Quihua, Ri Song Gum, Julie Imperio, and more, which are all available for you to watch exclusively at Weightlifting House TV. The link is down below.